What's happening, guys? It is the first shed hunt of the year. We got Kyle up here on the ridge line. Samong out in front over here. We're trying to find our way to Brown Town. We've got about five miles of canyon with south facing slope up here to hit. So we'll be up here for the day. Hopefully pick up some good sheds. This is Samong's first ever true shed hunt. So hopefully he gets something good. We're looking for that first shed. Just starting to get into where it's, the ground is actually not totally snowed over. So just making it up onto the south face. Hopefully we find something soon. See. Seen a lot of deer. We've seen probably eight, nine deer so far. Ten deer up here. So plenty of sign. I found them up on this hill before. So we'll see. I have Kyle to my left, about 75, 80 yards, and got some mung down here about 75, 80 yards, so we're spread out pretty good. Lots of sign. Just looking for that first shed. Sniffling, it's so cold up here. I'm sweating from hiking, but my nose is cold. Figured it was a good time to sit for a break, eat a snack. I got some trail mix. Get some energy. We're uh, almost to where we start finding sheds, but to get to the real good spot, we still got at least another mile up this canyon that we're in. So we've got a ways to go. So time for a water break and some snacks. We have been working our butts off and I just, Brian just found like a little dink spike and a little like little tiny two point little matching set he just found, which is great because we've been hiking for five hours and we got snowed out of the spot we wanted to go to. We couldn't get there anymore. So we're all the way back down here, almost back to the truck. He just found two and I'm walking along and I just found a nice two point. Fairly heavy, not a spindly two point by any means. And it's a fresh one. That's awesome. I am pumped. We worked pretty hard today. It's nice to uh, nice to come out with something because hiking three hours to get snowed out and have to turn around, going straight off the mountain, nothing but climb the entire way for three hours to get snowed out and turn around sucked. So it's awesome that we are coming out of here with some sheds, even if they're two little dinkers and a nice little two point. I'll take it. At least we're on the board now. I feel better about today. All right, guys, it is day two. It's like 10 a.m. We've got about four hours to shed hunt today before we got to get out of here. But yesterday was a tough day. I'm not gonna lie, it was tough. We, uh, we spent the first half of the day or more, almost three quarters of the day, in a spot that we packed way up into for hours and and just never got in anything good it was just we were so snowed in once we got up to where we wanted to be that it was there's still like two three feet of snow up there it was just 
couldn't do it. So we came out last night and hit this spot and we only had an hour to shed hunt. And then Samong had to take off and it was dark. And so we had, we found four sheds, a couple old tiny crusty ones, but two nice browns. But we had one hour and we found four sheds. So we figured we'd come back here today and try our luck at it. And we've got about four hours today. So we have high hopes. We found four in an hour yesterday, right before dark. If we can do that, hopefully we have a bunch more in four hours. So this is day two. We're gonna get after it. Just coming over a rise and I can see two tines sticking up. Finally got a shed. Took about an hour into day two, but I got one right here. Let's take a look at this, guys. Here is the shed. You guys can see that there. There it is. On the board of the two point. It's a little, a little cracked up, a little old, but hey, I'll take it. Just watching some deer over here on this hill, running around, and I looked over, I could just see those tines sticking up. So we're gonna go and we're gonna do a pickup on this thing. Sweet, on the board, I like it. All right, guys, look at that beast. That's awesome. That thing is not very big, but that's a shed. It is a little cracked up, but I will take it. <laughs> On the board, two point. Looking for number two, where's number two? One thing that can make these sheds so hard to find sometimes, a lot of these deer when they're on the winter range and they're eating all the sage and everything, a lot of their antlers break off down inside the sage bush. It makes it really hard to find. I've pulled quite a few sheds out of like just thick sagebrush, just buried in the sagebrush. They got their heads in it when the antler pops off and it makes it, just buries it in there, so. Always looking inside of every little sage bush that I come across. So this is, I'm targeting right here, is a big south facing slope. Almost looks like a shed. I see something white sticking up over there. But I'm always targeting these south facing slopes. They're the first to melt off. First, they get the most sun, and they'll also hold the most deer in the winter time, which is when you're targeting all these mule deer to drop their sheds. So I'm always targeting these south slopes. All right, shed number two, where you at? I just stumbled on something pretty cool. Check this out, guys. I have never found one of these. I'm pretty sure this is a coyote school. Check this out. Look at that thing, that is gnarly. Let me get you guys some light. Look at that. Like, yikes. That's wild. <laughs> All right, this is a prime example of why shed hunting can be so difficult. I always come, anytime I find a good tree or something like that, bucks always come in, They're whether they're feeding under it or what, they're scratching their horns off because they want them to come off. I always look around these types of trees. I'm looking all over the place here. Can't see anything. 
Doesn't look like there's any sheds around at all. Wait till you see this. Right here. Look at that, buried. Like you would never know that was there unless you just perfectly looked at it. Like look at that, it's hidden so good. You would never know it was there, crazy. Might even be another one around here. All right, let's see what we got. I haven't even seen it yet. I think it's a two point, but it's kind of hard to tell because this thing is just buried. I mean, it's been here a while. Oh yeah, yeah. And I've just been killing it with the two points. It's barely starting to crack. That's actually not a bad shed. It's got a little color, but it is, there's some fine line cracks on there too. But that's actually a decent two point. Sweet, on the board with another one. We need something big this trip. I've been finding a lot of two points. Let's get something big. Check that out. Jawbone. Look at that thing. And then I looked right over here. It looks like the rest of it. Looks like a doe. Find all kinds of stuff on the winter range. Lots of winter kill. Some bones. Almost thought that was a shed. Oh, well, we're on our last 30 minutes right now. Let's see if we can turn something else up. Get one more shed. Where we gotta turn and burn and head home. Fingers crossed. Guys, this is wild. I just turned this off. I was literally just standing right here on the camera and I'm walking and I can see through the sagebrush, there's another shed right here. Check this out. Look at that. <laughs> Two point. <sighs> so let's get this guy picked up. Maybe we'll get him matched up. I haven't found a match yet this weekend. But let's get this little shed picked up right here. I'm on a roll with two points. I don't know what is going on. I gotta try and find the other one, but I don't know what's going on, but I'm glad we're finding fresh brown sheds though, but look at that, another two point. It's fresh brown. I think everything I've gotten this weekend has been two point, two point, two point, two point. Please give me a three, I'd love a four. Give me something else. But we're finding sheds, I shouldn't be complaining. All right, let's try and find this match. One other thing I'm going to do here real quick before I leave. I'm going to get on my Onyx maps and mark this. Man, this is only 100 yards where I just found that last shed too, so that is awesome. Mark this, add a shed, put a note, two point. What's new? Should be just copy and paste by now. Another waypoint dropped. Here we go, let's get another. So earlier, I was walking and I got into this big canyon and I looked to the very top and I saw magpies and ravens and all kinds of stuff. And I got my binoculars out and looked up and there was a coyote up here and he's tearing into a carcass. I just made it to the carcass. I just found it. I'm just curious what, what it looks like and what it is. I'll show you guys what we just found here. Here's all this hair. Look at all that. Blood. 
blood and hair everywhere. pick through I would say dang <laughs> there's not much left on there that's crazy dang that's what I'm talking about you see some crazy stuff on the winter range for sure all right that is a wrap on this weekend shed hunt Found about 10 sheds, that wasn't bad. Really only got about a full day worth of shed hunting in. So 10 sheds for three of us, not bad. We had four, Samong was here yesterday, but uh, we kind of burned up yesterday on a death hike. But anyways, 10 sheds for the weekend, not bad. Don't forget guys, please like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully we'll have lots more shed videos coming out. Some hunts coming up, turkey season's right around the corner. So until the next video, We'll see you later. Ain't bad. That's awesome. That's the best shed of the whole trip right there. Uh, I think Kyle's might be a little bigger. You think so? Yours yeah. a little heavier. Yeah, mine's heavier. A little more bladed out. That's yeah. sweet. All right. Good stack for the trip. That one's a slammer, man. That two point's awesome. point gonna be nice. He is gonna be nice, I, I mean, Especially if he's just young, you know. Yeah. Good genetics. Mm -hmm. If he's young.